Hello there. Uh, this is a test render uh, for Blender 2.8 using its uh, real-time render engine, uh, Blender EV. Uh, so yeah, uh, I used around 16 samples uh, for uh, for the viewport and render settings uh, to render this, and I think it took about uh, around seven or six hours to render around uh, I think 370 frames. Uh, Blender was crashing a few times, and uh, the first time I, I tried rendering this, I rendered it as uh, MP4, and uh, because of that, when Blender crashed, I had to re-render everything. I think that is also adding up to the uh, to the three to the six hours. I think maybe roughly about three hours. It took around three hours for this, if I'm not counting that the times are uh, that uh, Blender was crashing, and I have to. Uh, re-render. Re uh, sometimes a blender crashed. Uh, so after trying to render MP4 and uh, seeing that uh, when blender crashes, I have to re-export everything because the MP4 is corrupt. Uh, they, I, what I did is uh, I changed uh, the output setting to uh, JPEG sequence, and uh, this allows you to start from, uh, to continue from where you stopped. Uh, so that's what I did, and uh, yeah. So when I did that. Uh, it would have took less time than that uh, because I think it took about six hours, maybe th three. I don't, I don't really remember, but uh, uh, sometimes Blender stopped responding uh, when I left the computer to continue uh, exporting. And uh, this is when I'm moving out, uh, leaving my desk uh, to go do other things because I can't use my computer when it's rendering. It's, it, the, uh, it becomes really slow, uh, so I leave it uh, to render. But uh, the problem that uh, if Blender stops uh, responding and uh, then uh, it's not rendering anymore so that also added up uh, on that time so I would come back and uh, it's stuck at around 100 frames uh, so I would have to start from there and uh, since I'm using I'm exporting J a JPEG sequence instead of uh, MP4 uh, it lets me continue from where I stopped. <music>